Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to introduce a new project this year. I'm very excited about. It's uh, something I came up completely on my own. It's actually like a challenge, not really a project, a challenge. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to name this yet. So yeah, it'll, you'll see it in the, in the thumbnail <laughs> and then the title. The genesis of this idea that I had was it was, it was during a lip service video, I think. And I was talking about, I think I had broken a lipstick and I'm like, oh, there's another lipstick that I broke. And I tend to do that quite a bit as if you guys watch my channel, if you've been here a while, you know, I tend to break lipsticks. I don't know how I do it, but as an example, so like here's an unbroken list is mini, but I think I, what I think I do is I think that I press down too much here and it pushes the lipstick back versus here but then sometimes when I do it from the from the tip of the lipstick I end up breaking it too I don't know I don't know how I do it but I do so I decided well what are, and here's the other part is that using a broken lipstick is a pain in the rear like it, it moves around in the bullet and then it breaks off like it's just a nightmare or falls out so I was like, well, I'm going to have to use them somehow. I mean, I don't, I don't, I typically like to use the products that I have in my collection versus just tossing them, especially if they're worth it, you know? So I went on the hunt and while I was on Beautylish, I found this cute little palette that I'm going to show you up here and I'll tell you what the name of it is, but I'm going to show it to you up here because I don't want to show you the one that I have because it's already got stuff in it. So the name of this brand, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Vuesset, Vuesset, it's V-U-E-S-S-E-T. -S -S -E I think it's S-S, -S, hold on. V-U-E-S-E-T, Vuesset, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, so the, what, what Beulish says about this brand, sturdy, and their products, sturdy, stackable, see-through. With Vuesset, what you see is what you get. A must for makeup artists, these clear travel friendly cases are perfect for depotting, organizing, and condensing your makeup collection. Consider your packaging problem solved. So I had a product very similar to this way back, or not product, but a tool, very similar to this a long time ago. I have no idea where I bought it. I want to say Amazon, but I don't even know if Amazon was around back then. I think I found it on some random store. I have no idea. But it was basically a palette that had empty wells. It had to have been on Amazon. I don't know where else. It oh, eBay. It's probably eBay. Anyway, it was a, like, it had a compact. It was a compact. It had a mirror. And I think it had eight wells with a little lip brush in there. And you could depot lipsticks. And that's what I did because I was like, I can't carry all these lipsticks around. So I'd like to carry this one palette. And this was way back in my minimal makeup days, but I always liked lipsticks. <laughs> that, tra that trend has not ended, obviously. So as soon as I saw this little thing from Voiset, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please correct me in the comments. I was like, I want that. I want that, it's perfect. It has 16 spots for 16 different lip products that I can put in there. And then this idea of this challenge or project or whatever I plan on calling it. <laughs> came up where I was like, let me work on my broken lipsticks. So towards the end of the, actually it was probably late last week, I started to organize my makeup that had come in kind of towards the last three months of the year. Cause I'd just been collecting everything in a bin and I was like, this has got to get put away. So I reorganized like my lipstick stuff, my lip product stuff, blushes, etc., And while I was doing that, I was kind of looking through some lipsticks to see if they were still okay and hadn't gotten bad. And at the same time, I was checking to see if they were broken. So I set aside a handful of broken lippies. And what I did today is I depotted a portion of these lippies into my new little lip palette. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is so cute. It's so tiny, you guys. Look at how tiny this is. <gasps> now, of course, there's no spot for a lip brush on here, but I'll share with you my plans for this. 
after I... Damn it. After I go through what's in here. So what I did is I took the... I had... There's 16 wells in here, and I had 15 lip products set aside. Sorry, I had to go lock the front door. So what I did was is I... When I, when I got this, I pulled this out... So what I ended, I don't remember where I was, but what I ended up doing with this is I spray this with alcohol. Alcohol does not damage this, which I was so excited about. It doesn't say it in the description, but alcohol does not damage this plastic. And then I took each lipstick and I sanitized the tool that I was using to take a, you know, take a portion off the palette tool that I used. I love these. These are from Z Palette. This is my favorite one. And not only because it's multi-chrome, but it's the thinnest palette tool I have found. Thin in terms of these pieces. Other ones that I have are thicker. And these are ones that I've purchased on Amazon. They're just not comparable in terms of the thinness. So I find these to be much easier to work with. I mean, these will do in a pinch, but they're not my favorite. So this is this is my favorite. So I, I know I can get this on Amazon and it's pricier. I think this is like 12 bucks versus I think you get a three pack for the same price or something. I don't know. Anyway, I will link this tool down below. I'll link both of these so that you have options. But the Z palette one is my favorite. Okay. So and then I lopped off like the a top part of the lipstick as much as I thought may fit in here and I deep pottered into this guy. So this is what I'm gonna like play around with this year. One of the many things I'm gonna be many lip products I'll be working on. This is really just a way for me to actually use these lipsticks because otherwise I won't. And I think this is super cute and fun. And it's nostalgic to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the lipsticks that are in here and we will swatch them. I do have a like, what do you call it? Like a grid that I did that shows me what lipsticks are in here so I can tell you what they are. And unfortunately I did not take pictures of these, but you know, I'm just, I don't want to make this too difficult on me to update and to talk about. I just want to, this is, I want this to be like a fun, free willy nilly project and or and or challenge. I don't want to make this too hard. So anyway, the I'm going to start with the way that I had them planned out is going from left to right from the bottom up. And so just to kind of give you an idea, this row was drugstore. This row was mid range, high end and then mid range. <laughs> the first one, which is this guy here, is by Essence. It is their semi-matte lipstick in the shade Brave. So these are all going to look janky because they've been gouged. This is the most difficult tube to twist up. I don't understand it. I mean, it's Essence. It's cheap packaging. And these swatches are probably going to be really bad because <laughs> they're janky gouged lipsticks but there is the shade there so again this is the shade brave i am wearing one of these today the next one is a maybelline lipstick this is the cream formula in the shade pink flare and there is the shade so there is the swatch there and I'm going to leave these set aside. They'll be in a, you know, I'll probably keep them in this little bin while they're depotted in here. Next one I have is by NYX. And this is one of my favorite colors. It is the, let's see, this is the formula is the matte lipstick in whipped caviar. I think I want to say... Tumtalia has this as a dupe of pink salt, which I don't think it is. There's the shade there. That is not a dupe of pink salt. No, Salt Life. That's the one I'm thinking of, Salt Life. Mm -mm. Close, but not the same. 
This is more mauve -y, has more purple in it than that one. Mm -mm. It's a close dupe, but it's not the same. <laughs> okay, so I'll take Salt Life off because we're not working on that one. So again, whipped caviar. And then the last, this is actually not a drugstore, but it's what fit. This is by Lorac. It's the highly pigmented matte lipstick in the shade Duchess. And there is the shade. Does that have a cat hair on it? It sure does. All right, and then there is that swatch. So those are the first four. Next up, I have a Clinique Mini. This is, uh, I don't know how, I can't remember how much is in here. And I, this is too small for me to read. I want to say it's like a gram. It's one of their Clinique Pop lipsticks. This is the cream version and it's in Plum Pop. This one is sad because it's almost like what I depotted. There's not much left. So let me see how good of a swatch I can get. That's pretty good. There we go. There's the shades. Beautiful. So there's not much left in this one. Next up, I have a couple of MAC lipsticks. Three, actually. The first one was a limited edition shade. This is the Amplified Creme Lipstick in the shade Love at First Bite. This was part of the Fruity Floral Collection, I want to say. This is a very bright, Pinky corally shade. There we go. But you know, all like I said, all of these are broken. Very broken. <laughs> Next, I have the shade Plumful. And this is the Luster lipstick. Here is the shade. This one is so pretty. I mean, all these are pretty, to be honest. Otherwise, I wouldn't have kept them but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. And then the third Mac lips, Mac lipstick <laughs> is the cream sheen lipstick, in the shade modesty, modesty. Wow. I can't talk. This is actually a newer lipstick to my collection, but I had rolled it into a project and it did not take that long to break. It's gorgeous. I was always scared of this lipstick, but I love it. All right. So the third row and I'm just going to show this to you again in case you want to see it. You can kind of probably see similarities. Again, first row, second row. For the third row, the first one I have is a Fancy Dancy lipstick. This is by the brand Lisa Eldridge. And honestly, like I wore this less than 10 times and it broke from the base. So I just popped right off so annoying this is the velvet lipstick in the shade myth i already showed you the packaging <laughs> this one is kind of all over the place it's a gorgeous red gorgeous gorgeous red but i mean it just broke so easily there we go beautiful color but yeah i mean it's literally like and i've he i'd heard that about these and I was really careful with it. And honestly, like I just, it just snapped. It snapped right off. So the next shade in that third row is a Tom Ford. This is part of the girls and boys collection. I want to say it's actually a lip balm in La Pis. La Piscine. I think that's how you say that. This is a sheer kind of plummy shade. There we go. And just to show you, like this one has much more in it because I hadn't really used much of this one. I think I had a pro had it in a project for 10 or 20 uses and, the, and it broke. It's just a softer formula. The next one, it, the next two are actually Pat McGrath lipsticks. These are so hard to read the bottoms of. This first one is Realness. This is a Luxe Trance lipstick. And there is the shade. Oh gosh. These are very, very thick swatches. <laughs> I, this is one of my favorite colors by her. Would 100% pick up a backup of that one. The next one I have is the shade Valletta. Wait, I didn't tell you what the, this is also a Luxe Trance. So there is Valletta. More of like a spring summer shade. 
And let's see, the that was the last one on the fourth row. The next and last row is, there. these are mid-range again. The first one I have is by Kosas. It's the shade Rosewater. I love this color so much. And I was really bummed when it broke. You can kind of see at the base where it's broken. So again, there's the shade. And there's the swatch. Gorgeous. I love this formula and I love this color. Again, these probably, I think, go bad faster. So I also wanted to use it because I didn't want it to go bad. The next one is a lipstick by Lime Crime. I know I'm very confident you can't buy these anymore. This is the shade Hoodie. This one's really kind of messed up. There's the shade. <laughs> Let's do it from the side here. I love this one. Oh, I was bad swatch. I'm sorry. And the last broken lipstick that I had pulled out is by Kat Von D. It's one of their one of her studded kiss lipsticks. This is in the shade Magic. I was so close to finishing this. And one day I used it and it went snapped right off. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So there's the shade. This is how much is left in here. It's super janky. And this one's also not my favorite formula because it's got like some micro glitters in there. But I'm so close to finishing, I, 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 want to, I want to get it done. So those were the 15 that I pulled that had, that were broken, broken, right? Then I remembered that I had two lipsticks that I had broken in my lip service project. And I decided to roll them out of that project because it was getting really difficult to use them and try to get the quarter use goal that I have in that project for all the lippies I roll in. So what I did was, is I took, I took the broken lipstick part off. I dug out what was in the, like this portion down in here. I dug all that out and then I took the broken piece, melted the bottom of it a little bit with a, with a lighter, and then when it was kind of melty, stuck it back in whatever the heck you call this thing, the base, <laughs> and then stuck it in the refrigerator. So they're not broken now. However, I did depot them into a little tin canister that I have. And I, at first I couldn't find this. I was like, where is it, where is it? I found it on the floor, like under my printer. Anyway, I hadn't touched it since I depotted those, like the base well part so I could stick the lipstick back in there. I hadn't used it since then. So what I decided to do is fill the last well with one of these lip products. So the two that were in there were Lorac CEO and I pulled the wrong one. Lorac CEO and Beautiful Creatures by Pat McGrath. So let me show you. So this is Beautiful Creatures by Pat McGrath. And then over here was CEO by, I think that's right. Let me just double check. CEO by Lorac. Let me just do a quick little swatch comparison. So this is what it looks like to show you after I did my depotting and fishing out the lipstick in there, putting it in here and then f melting and freezing. So it's a pretty sturdy lipstick now. No, this is see, this is a uh, beautiful creatures. Just to kind of give you an idea that is the shade CEO and that is beautiful creatures. So I have a third, I mean, I guess I break a lot of Pat McGrath lipsticks. I have a third Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the Lux Trance, again, softer formula, in the shade Beautiful Creatures. And so there is the, the shade. And there is the lippy. So there we go. There are all the lippies. 16 lippies in here. Ah, and in fact, I think it's breaking again. Is it breaking again? No. It's just leaning. <laughs> so let me just show you guys. There is the palette i think there's a lot of a lot that are similar but to be honest they're all different i think we've got some good winter shades here we've got some nice spring summer shades peppered throughout and there's a couple of ways that i plan on using this 
palette. Let me go ahead and take these swatches off because they're very thick. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so the way that I the the way that I plan on using this little guy. So there's a couple of spots in my house where I tend to spend more time. So I'm here at my vanity every pretty much every single day and I have been applying one of my turn and burn lippies on every single day. And sometimes I need a mixer. So this would be a great palette to pull from as a mixer. For example, I have this really deep, dark, cool toned purple from Laura Mercier. This has been really difficult to use. And so I've been doing a lot of mixing with that palette, with that lipstick, excuse me. And I especially find it best to use a warm toned lipstick to mix it with to help elevate it from being so cool toned and so gray toned as well. I don't know if that makes sense. So that's one spot. The other spot is at my work desk, which is in my guest bedroom. I'm there, you know, five days a week from eight to five every single day. So that's another spot. And I have lip brushes in both spots. I also tend to then migrate to the couch and I, where I edit videos after I filmed. It's usually work, here to film and then couch to edit and do whatever else I'm going to do that night. So those are some three, three, those are three areas where I can work on this. My goal is not to finish lipsticks in this project. It's really just to get use on this and see what I can do with it. See what kind of like makeup playtime I can do in terms of mixing. Because if you guys watch my my videos, I really like to mix lipsticks to get a custom shade because even though this is not a shade that I would normally wear, I can make this work. And it's really interesting to kind of play around with color theory to see how I can make this work based on the makeup look I have going on. And I'd like to show that to you guys as well. In fact, we may do a little bit of makeup playtime. So I, I don't know exactly where I'm going to Put this. I don't know if I'm going to put this here at my vanity for now to see how much use I get. I don't know if I'm going to put it over in my office. I think those are the two spots that are going to get the most where this is going to get the most love and use because typically once I get to my like once I make it to the couch I'm working on lippies in here in my lipstick bag and not that I don't work on these during the day but I'll see this a bit more front and center in the office and the bedroom versus in the living room where I'm like, I just need to put on a lip and I just throw something on. All right. So I have, a, I wanted to show you guys, I do have a couple of lip brushes that I have really been enjoying. So I want to say, oh, okay. I, I got these from Shop Miss A. This is by AOA Studio. And I really love these smaller like these types of brushes. I prefer the ones that are small that twist, but those are really hard to find and they're usually not great quality in terms of the the twisty part of it being good for long term. They just don't last. But I do have a couple of these that I got from Shop Mase. I mean, these were a dollar. So I th think I picked up like three or four and I have them in a couple of different parts of my house. So these are really good and I just you know, use my makeup wipe to clean them off between uses. It works really well. I also have one that I found from Zoeva. I think I found this at TJ Maxx. Similar style, you know, it's just one of those that kind of fits back in here. And again, I like these because they're smaller. And I think those are the main ones that I have here. I also have... I don't know if I have them here, but I, oh, I do. I have one here. So when you get a Dior lippy, they put a little lip brush in there. <laughs> so I have some of these. I have like a couple of these laying like sitting in a trinket tray in my office. And then I have one in here. So, I mean, there's, I usually just go in here. The first, first lip, lip brush I grab is what I use. They are all kind of function the same. Now, the other thing that you can use is you can use a, like one of these, 
one of these kinds of palettes. I don't use this. I have one. I, it's dirty because I never use it. <laughs> I just find this to be cumbersome to pull out and to like, you know, mix. But since I've got it out, we'll go ahead and mix. I'm just going to show you this Laura Mercier. This is a matte lipstick. And what I've been doing is, let's see, what's a warm lipstick in here? Actually, the one that I want to show you is not in this project. It's actually a MAC lipstick that I have in a project for 10 uses. This is the shade Tulip Service. And this is a very kind of orange toned lipstick, which is typically not a favorite for me. So what I will do is I'll just, I'll use this guy. I just kind of put a little bit of this. I don't think it's going to work very well, but I put a little bit of it on the surface. It's usually on the back of my hand, to be honest. And then I will get a little bit of this really dark purple. Let me show you what it looks like on its own. There's the shade there. You don't need very much of this one. That's why it's taking me forever to use it. And then I'll mix the two. Like this. And sometimes this is enough to use on my lips. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes I have to add more. I feel like I get more on my hand than I do on this thing. But anyway, once it's all mixed up, I'll show you what it looks like. Then I apply it and you can see the vast difference between these two. This is to me so much more wearable than this one. Like I'll put this on and my teeth imme immediately look gray. But this is gorgeous. I did this today and I freaking loved it. If you need something a bit lighter, I think I used, I have some of the, my project pan lipsticks that I'm working on. So for example, I may add a little bit of the shade brave to this. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, I haven't done this one, it just kind of gives you an idea. I love doing this stuff. It's fun. So there's a little bit of brave. And I mix that together. That actually looks darker. It's just interesting to see because it's got a pink hue. It had a pink hue. It, it's just interesting to me to see how it ends up turning out. Sometimes things surprise you. So anyway, that's one of the ways that I kind of plan on using this if it sits here by my, at my vanity. But I think what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up moving it like sporadically. Like I may say, oh, this week I need to work on, I don't have, I don't need to mix the lipsticks I have in Turn and Burn, so I'm going to move it to my office. Or no, I need to use mixers for this purple lipstick, so let me bring it back. So I think it's going to move around. This is way longer than I anticipated it to be. A couple more things. I don't anticipate, I will update this monthly. I don't anticipate there to be like a ton of change every month. I did weigh this, this palette empty and I weighed it now after it's full. So let me share with you those numbers. Empty, this weighs 13.9 grams. With all these lip products in here, it is 23.2, which means this the, the lip products in here weigh 9.3 grams, which is a little over three lipsticks. So I'm going to take a picture of this. And so we can kind of track the progress of what it looks like. And I had this upside down the whole time. So we can track to see what it looks like. You know, once a well starts to get a little empty, I'll probably fill it back up, etc. I just, again, I want to work on these broken lipsticks. And this is how I plan on doing that. I don't anticipate my updates to be very long for this challenge. So if I find that it ends up being really short, maybe oh, the first month, maybe next month I'll do it on its own and then see how long it is. If it ends up being like a really short video, I will probably tack it onto the end of my lip service project because that project is all about lipsticks. That's probably what I'll end up doing. But if I end up, talking a lot about these products 
then I'll keep it as a separate video. If you have a preference or, and or thoughts about what you'd like me to talk about with this challenge project, etc., just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely take it into consideration. I can't promise any, can't promise you anything because like I didn't take pictures before I chopped these lipsticks up. So I can't show you before and after of what they look like or how much was left. Like I didn't, I mean, I don't know how much was left in them, you know? I just know that there's 3.2 or 9.3 grams of lipstick in here. The goal at the end of the day is to use the lipstick completely. Eventually, maybe not in the next year, but eventually, you know what I mean? All right, anyway, I have talked way too long about this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you. Y'all want to see one of the best mugs ever? This is going to have to go in the extra section because I think of what it says, but <laughs> I love this mug. Yeah, I do, Ziggy. I love it. Okay, bye.